Hi and welcome to this markup RXP video where we'll be looking at the problem where markup RXP is not selecting all of my symbols and we'll be using a raise mode to help us diagnose this. So here I have a, a mirabilia chart and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump in and demonstrate the problem so let's just zoom in and if I click symbol mode and I click the symbol here I come in I select the symbol and it only finds one symbol. So you think, well, hang on, what's going on? There's loads of symbols on there. What's happening? The reason why this happens is if we just cancel that mode, cancel those changes, is if we press and hold on markup like this and jump into arrays mode, the new arrays mode that we have, in this mode, markup RXP shows what cells it thinks are populated on your chart. And here you can see that the X's, for some reason, are not populated. So one way, one quick way around solving this particular problem, if you already had markup on your, on your page, you've already gone through, say, a few symbols and you don't want to lose that markup, is you can simply jump into a raise mode, like so, and just drag your finger across the cells that you want done, like so. So all I'm doing here is I'm just literally dragging my finger um, across the various cells that need updated. So just keeping that, you can see kind of how quick it is. It doesn't take very long at all. So this would be the case where you don't want to lose uh, your markup on the page because you've already done some markup. Now, because now markup RXP thinks those cells are populated, if we jump back into markup mode, and now I do exactly the same thing, and I just select the same symbol, or similar symbol you can see there that it picks up all of those symbols that we've just highlighted it hasn't picked up the other side because it thinks that those are empty so that's one quick way of solving the problem but what's another way maybe you haven't put any mark up on your chart and you've gone straight into arrays mode and you've noticed that these cells aren't populated so how can we fix that well in that case what we can do is you can just jump over to adjust grid like so and when you come into adjust grid, the rotation of this grid's fine, so we'll just click next. The thing, uh, I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on. The, the value to concentrate on is the contrast. So if you click on contrast, you can see that this contrast is set quite low, it's at 44%. And if you zoom in on the hair, you can get an understanding of what's going on. So because the contrast is low, so what's happened is Marco Bar XP has, has read this chart and it adjusts parameters in order to find the grid and to find empty cells on your chart. So it's, it's trying to find the best match, but sometimes it doesn't always get it. That's why we have this manual process. And you can see that the hair here, because our contrast is set low, this is how Mark Bar XP reads your chart. And it's thinking that all of these cells are empty. And that's why it's not picking it up. So the way to solve the problem is just to come down to the contrast here. And if we just drag the contrast up and if we get it to a contrast. So again, if we just zoom out, if we get it to a contrast where it looks like those cells are populated, like that's a pretty good view of those cells being populated, then that should be enough. You could even kind of go a little bit higher if you wanted. It's just a way of marker bar xp identifying is this does the cell have any content or doesn't it have any content and if we just say yeah we're happy with that we're done it jumps back so now you can see we're back in a raise mode because we didn't uh, leave that mode and you can now see that all of the x uh, symbols here have been populated because obviously we've we've adjusted the contrast so if we just jump back into um markup mode so we're now in markup mode. We can then click on the symbol and then we can select that symbol like so. And now you can see all of the cells get picked up even on the letters at the top there as well. So that's what's going on. Um, if you've already got markup on your page and you don't want to lose that markup, just quickly drag your finger over the cells that you want included. If you are starting a new chart, jump into a raise mode, check that the cells are populated, make sure that they're all there if you want them. And if they're not, you can adjust that contrast and then you should be good to go. Um, I hope that helps. I hope that explains what's going on. Um, thanks very much for watching.